Navigate on autopilot was one of the most anticipated feature in Tesla's version 9 release. However, it didn't really make it because of, you know, they, they wanted to test it a little bit more before they were um, comfortable with releasing it, which kudos to them, by the way. Uh, but now Elon announced that it's going to be rolling out and it is rolling out um, now to, um, to quite a few customers. Now, I have to say, I did not even get the original version 9 release not that i'm upset about it trust me judging by the feedback i'm i might be better off not but this uh, this is a feature that people were waiting uh for and there some of them are still disappointed let me tell you what what it includes and by the way this is a screenshot from their demo and i'll show you that demo as well but i did find out from their release notes today or actually from the announcement that there is a, actually a much better use for this feature than just using the navigation. I'll tell you what it is. And all of this is coming up next. Thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. And if this is your first time here on YouTube and you are interested in what's going on in the world of electric cars, well, you came to the right place. Just go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there. It's free, that way you won't miss anything moving forward. All right, so navigate on autopilot. So this is a feature that essentially was one of the first steps to the true self-driving, um, uh, you know, suite that of features that, that Tesla was rolling out. And essentially what it is, is when you're driving on the freeway, it's gonna start in a, you know, freeway driving, and you, you know, you're navigating to a certain location, um, the, the autopilot will start changing lanes for you and take a ramp off of the freeway if, if, if that's the exit you need to take to get to the destination where you're going. Well, so it did make it into the uh, original release of, of version nine, but now they are rolling it out and there is a limitation. And a lot of people believe that this is kind of, uh, well, why bother if you're not, you guys are not gonna go all the way to automatic lane changes. So automatic lane changes are not going to happen. It will still automatically, you know, know which, how to take the exit off of the lane that you're in, if it's the one that's splitting off into the ramp. But in order to change lanes, it will let you know that, hey, you should probably be changing lanes. Do you want to do it? And if you do, then you you, you will just kind of um, turn your blinker on. So um, so I'll show you the demo right now. But just like I said, there's much better usage for this. I don't know why people are not talking about that. But before I, I show you uh, the demo, I just want to remind you that this channel and this show is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. Um, there's a discount code in the description of this video so you can save yourselves a few bucks. All right, so um, the demo is pretty simple and you can see it on their uh, on their YouTube channel. And uh, you know, obviously you enter your destination and this demo is just basically for the Model 3, but it's gonna work exactly the same uh, for, um, for Model S and Model X. You enter the destination and it drives you, uh, you know, on a freeway and that's, this is where they actually um, uh, uh, demoing this. And I think they taped it on uh, Highway uh, 280 uh, near the Half Moon Bay. If I if I see everything the signs correctly, I've I only moved three months ago, and I think I I recognize the beautiful beautiful lake on the left over there, right? So um and yeah, just like I said, uh, you guys actually I don't really want to kind of wa watch it with you. You can watch them there uh, videos, but it's it's doing exactly what what I just mentioned. Uh, okay, but um, obviously if you have to turn your signal on to let the car know that it needs to change lanes then you know some people say well what's the point i know i have to change the lanes so i'll just do it initiate it myself um i would have much rather have the autopilot kind of do it for me like autopilot okay so that's not going to happen it looks like they want to test for a while to to make sure that they they can really really vouch for it um now but 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 here's another thing that i found out and again i think that this is a much better uh, a usage of this feature though of course it's still disappointing you have to turn the uh, signal on but uh, if you're driving on autopilot not not necessarily to navigating to a certain destination if you're driving on an autopilot um and let's say your speed limit your 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 speed is set to 65 but you're kind of in traffic and and the lanes next to you are going faster than you consistently well the autopilot will recognize that and said hey you should probably change the lane so you can go faster because remember you set the autopilot to 65 and we're going like 30 and that lane is going 45. And so that I think is a much better usage for it. I would definitely use it. Uh, I mean, of course I would, 
I would prefer that it would just do it for me. And also it will figure out how aggressively it's going to change those lanes, including the Mad Max mode, which is a pretty aggressive um, lane change. So the slower the speed, the faster and more aggressive it's going to change the lane. I guess that's that's that that's logical. And if it's uh, if it's uh, much uh, faster flowing traffic, it will do it much more carefully. Um, again, all of this makes sense, and I think this is actually a much more um, well, not realistic, but much more useful feature. Let me know in the comment section if you guys agree. So um, anyway, let me know also if you are now. Uh, in possession of the version 9 and if you're getting the nav on autopilot I would be interested to know if if you guys are enjoying it or not um, again uh, nav, you know version 9 has been very tough had a very tough go uh, so far uh, now by the way let me thank one of my newest patreons Dana Pearson thank you so much for becoming a patreon and this is how you guys can uh, support the show. Um, had all, I mean, I always make sure to communicate to my Patreons uh, where, you know, on YouTube, it's a little bit harder for me because there's so many different comments and, you know, direct messages I just, you know, overwhelming but for my patreons i always uh, have time uh, obviously you guys get to watch me live and um, also you get to watch the extra mile segment that i you know do on a daily basis for a few extra minutes just to kind of give you my more of a personal sort of 411 on what's going on with me um and uh yeah and th thank you so much for supporting it you can do it for as long as one dollar really so uh patreon.com slash e for electric is where you can sign up and don't forget about my news newly found again sunday uh, Sunday subscriber hangouts, which I do live, um, did it for three hours um, this weekend. Go ahead and join me next time. Uh, it's always good times, and I always enjoy doing that with you guys. So, yeah, that's that's that. I'm, I'm already excited uh, for the next weekend. All right, other than that, I will see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.